Greetings to my fellow uh, Iron 883 owners. Uh, this is Jim G57 from the quaint little town of Aiken, South Carolina. Um, this is a 2013 Iron 883. Um, I bought it May the 5th, 2013. Today is June the 2nd, 2013. So I've not quite had it a month yet, but almost a month. Uh, and I've done a few things to it already. Um, I relocated the turn signals uh, to just down above the lower triple tree. I really like those there. Um, I've added some Vance and Hines short shots. Um, that's pretty common. I'd say about 80% of these Iron 83s wind up with the uh, Vance and Hines short shots on them. Um, I took the 13-inch uh, stock shocks off and I put on some 11-inch progressive shocks. Uh, they look better because they're all black and it dropped it a couple of inches so uh, gives it a better stance. Um, of course, uh, like everybody does, I inverted my mirrors. Now something I did that I have mixed feelings about, um, I really liked the stance of the bike the way it was originally with the original handlebars mounted on the original two inch risers uh, but I couldn't ride very far without having a lot of neck and shoulder pain so I decided to put on these uh, five and a half inch pullback risers um, it's much more comfortable to ride now but as far as looks to be quite honest I like the way the bike looked previously uh, but I guess that's a trade-off, you know, whatever keeps you on the road, right? Now in order to do that, of course, I had to relocate the uh, spinometer and I put it right down here on the frame uh, using a bracket that I got from uh, uh, D&K Customs. Um, of course, that also meant I had to relocate my idiot light bar, which as you can see, I got some uh, longer bolts and some spacers and I mounted it uh, into the same mounting holes as the eyebrow for the headlight. Uh, I also got that uh, idiot light bar bracket from D&K and um, the spacing on the mounting holes weren't exactly right. I had to dremel those out a little bit but uh, I think that worked out pretty good. Uh, I like the way it looks. Uh, I don't know how well it would have worked uh, with straight risers, but since I've got the pullback risers, uh, I can see them perfectly fine. Um, I also uh, put in this uh, Solo bag. Um, the one thing about Sportsters, because you've got that little small primary uh, and the chain is on, I mean the uh, drive belt is on the other side there's always a space right there between the back of that primary and that rear shock that just screams for something it's like a dead empty space on all the sports because then it needs something and then I think that bag just just fits in that space just perfectly um, but uh, that's all I've done to this thing so far like I say in uh, what less than a month just uh, you know, two or three days shy of having it a month. Uh, so I'm not done yet. Um, I'm thinking about uh, some forward controls. Although I really have gotten accustomed to these mid controls, uh, my previous uh, Dyna Wide Glide and my previous Sportster all had forward controls. Uh, what do you guys think? Give me some feedback on that. Uh, should I put forward controls on it? Uh, also on the air cleaner, I'm thinking I'm going to put the uh, Screaming Eagle uh, heavy breather on it. I uh, think that looks good on these bikes. Uh, thinking about the tank lift and cleaning up that area above the cylinder heads. Not sure about that, but uh, I like the way it looks on some of you other guys' bikes that have done it. Um, but at any rate, uh, Again, this is Jim G57 in Aiken, South Carolina, 
and this is my bike after a month. Uh, give me your feedback. Tell me what you think. Uh, as I do more modifications, I'll post more. Thank you.